So if you saw on the channel yesterday, I released the first video on the beta version of Brizzy Pro. And they've released a new version today. And instead of going back and creating a full new video, I just thought I'd just show you exactly what the new feature is. So we're gonna jump over to Brizzy and take a look at the new image gallery element. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Touch, the channel where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added. So Brizzy Pro has just brought out a new beta version, this is 0.03, and it's added in the image gallery element. And in this video, I'm just going to give you a very quick demonstration of how you can use it. Speaking of Brizzy Pro, if you'd like to take advantage of the offer they currently have on, there's a link in the description, it's an affiliate link, and it gives you a massive saving upon Brizzy Pro when it's actually released. It's going to give you a lifetime deal, so you only pay one time, use as many sites as you want, and you have full support forevermore. So grab that if you think this is something you'll be interested in. As soon as Brizzy Pro is released, you will have access to the full version. Okay, so the gallery element. Let's take a look at how we use it. Now jump over to my test site, and I've already created a page called Gallery Test. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add that gallery element in. So what we're going to do is we've created a single row, single column, nothing special there. Come over to the widgets or the elements on the left-hand side, and you can see we now have a new one called Gallery. We drag and drop that into our interface. You can see we've got two column layout. It's pretty much the same as what you'd expect with adding a couple of columns of images in there, but it does give you more control. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a couple of images in here. So we'll click on the first one, click to add an image, and we'll click upload, choose our first image and select that. Do the same on the second one. So we'll click to add another image in there, and we'll choose, choose this one. Now, the eagle-eyed among you will probably notice that you've now got the new dynamic icon that allows us to dynamically bring in content. So we can click on there and you can see we can pull in featured image, site logo, or author profile. We're gonna leave that for now. I just wanna demonstrate the gallery. I covered how you do the sort of the dynamic content in the previous video. So check that out if you haven't seen it. I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so we'll add a couple of images in there. So we're gonna do now, we wanna add some more. So all I need to do is come in and I can duplicate these. So you can see I can just click and duplicate and it automatically adds in new cells with images already pre-filled out. You also notice that it only gives us two columns, two rows, three rows, four rows, and so on, however many you add in there, but still stuck to two columns. We can change that very easily. Come to this little arrow in the top right-hand corner of this particular widget, click on there, and we've got a couple of icons. The first one is the layout for the gallery. Click on there, you can see we can now choose the number of columns, and as we adjust those, it dynamically updates. So we can go to a maximum of six columns. We've then got the spacing for the space between each of the images. So you can set that to whatever you want from zero pixels up to 20 pixels. And finally, we can enable or disable the light box effect. So we'll just enable that. And as with everything with Brizzy, it's a very nice, simple, clean interface. We've got normal options then for settings. We can click on there, we can adjust the styling. So we can adjust padding on this element. We can adjust the margins on it. We can jump over to advanced if we want to, and adjust the Z index and whether we show it on the desktop or not. We've also got animation options and we can apply CSS classes so we can target this specifically if we want to create our own custom CSS definitions. So again, all the kind of thing you, you're kind of used to on there. We've then got duplicate, which will duplicate the entire element. And finally, we've got the delete option, so we can delete it. Okay, so let's just go in and change some of these images. So this is one of the areas that's a little bit slow, but it is something that I'm sure they'll look to address in the future to speed this process up, where we can just group select a pile of images and then we can drag and drop them around. Like we become accustomed to with lots of different page editors. So hopefully they'll bring that in in the future. So I'm just gonna quickly go in and add a couple of more images. So I'll pause the video, add some images, and then we can take a look at some of the other options that are available. Okay, so we've got six images in there. We'll just adjust the padding on this again. So we'll adjust that on this. So we'll adjust our spacing. So we get a nice five pixel gap. Now, if we adjust the number of columns, you can see everything adjusts accordingly. So that's pretty cool. What we can also do though, is we can adjust the actual size of the image. So for example, when we've got this first image, which we know is more of a portrait image, whereas the rest are landscapes, what I can do is, because I'm losing this image, I can click on there. And you can see I get a little drag dot at the bottom. So I can drag that down and it'll automatically pick up all the spacing and style everything the way we want. So we've now created a sort of sort of custom masonry kind of layout on this. That's pretty nice, I quite like that. However, it is only to increase the height. We can't actually increase the width on any of these images just yet. Hopefully this will be something that they'll take a look at, but obviously if we drag this out, you can see all it does is 
compresses the image up to compensate for that. And if we want to adjust the position of that, we can come in. And as we've always been able to do with Brizzy, we can easily come in and reposition where we want this element to display. So that's kind of nice. So you do get nice control over everything on there and you can see everything will resize itself and adjust itself accordingly. So that's pretty cool. So now that we've seen how to use the gallery element, what does it look like on the front end? What does the light box look like? Well, let's take a look. Let's click the preview of this and we'll take a look at it in action. So you should see that it's going to look exactly the same as you expect it to, like it does on the actual sort of admin of the site. And if we click, it'll open up and we can then go through the different images. Now, one of the things I'd like to see, and again, hopefully this is something they'll release in the final version of this or in the next beta or so on, is some form of animation and some control over how the light box actually works. Because currently it's a little bit sort of smack, there it is, there's no real finesse to it. And I think it needs just a little bit of finessing to make it just that little bit more pro. So hopefully they'll bring that to us in the next version. Well, that pretty much wraps up what this new gallery feature does in the beta version of Brizzy Pro. What do you think of this? Do you think it's a good start to the gallery? What kind of things would you like to see added in to make this more functional in the future before the pro version is actually fully released? I'd love to get your feedback on this, so pop those comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this. And I'll wrap this short video up there. My name's been Paul C. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and hit the bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added. All the applicable links for this and everything else we cover on the channel are all in the description below, so go and check those out if you're interested in finding more about Brizzy Pro. Well, until next time, take care.